Hello Libras. This is your reading for June. I know it's late, but I'm here. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the Celtic Cross. See what love messages we have for you guys for this month. I'll be coming right back, actually, with the mid-month in um, about four or five days. Okay. Let's see, what messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for the month of June? Let's see. Okay, let's see what this is. The Hermit. I see a lot of you guys are looking for answers. This could also be a Virgo that is significant to you guys here. Um, but there's something that you're looking uh, for answers for in the past. It's like you are exploring um, certain things that happened to you before, certain situations that happened before. It's like you are really shining a light and trying to figure out something from your past so you can bring whatever it is that you learn from that into the future. Okay. Let's see what's crossing you. That one wanted to jump, so let's see what that is. That's the tower there. I feel that there's there's something that's not working for you currently. Scorpio energy is here. There's something that you feel like is not stable, it's not grounded. Um, and if this is not you, this is someone else, or this is indeed a situation that it is built on faulty pretenses here. So there will be a, a feeling that you would want to basically just kind of like knock everything down to rebuild it the right way because it's like, you know, something's not working for you. Something is definitely not working for you guys here, okay? It could definitely be um, a situation where you guys probably felt like somebody was the one with the hermit energy. And now you're feeling like, wait a minute, maybe, you know, what I thought was real wasn't real or um, there's something going on in your situation where you're feeling like it's not right it's not balanced it's not even and um, you're, you're kind of rethinking things here for some of you let's see what the underlying issue is for you guys for this month the underlying issue here is a King of Wands. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius individual here. But it seems that the issue is that there's not enough activity. There's not enough um, action being taken. I'm getting that um, there's not enough masculine energy that is being presented to you. Okay. So either this is you or the individual that you're thinking about okay it could be that you don't feel like you have control over this situation okay or that you need to do something here you need to be more active or either the person that you're dealing with guys okay let's see in the recent past what we had going on here is a high priest says a lot that you guys did not know there was a lot that was hidden this could also represent somebody that you don't know of a mistress or um, just somebody that is on a side okay possibly but more so than that this is a Piscean card as well but more so than that this is things unknown this person does not take action this person just kind of contemplates um, situations and things and people um, and, and basically does not share that information, knows the information, feels the information, but does not necessarily show it, okay? Um, so with the hermit looking at the high priestess, um, I'm feeling like there's something that you're looking to bring to light here. 
there's something that you want to reveal or you would like to see someone else reveal. For some of you guys, it's like you found out there is a third party, there's a situation that, um, that you feel like is being hidden from you or has been hidden from you and you're really trying to figure that out and it's really bothering you it's causing a lot of um, turmoil I feel within you and you're feeling like you need to take action on this or either this is a need for the person that you're involved with to take action and reveal whatever it is that is hidden that you guys have not discussed before okay let's see your crowning thoughts here. The Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. This is needing to put in, put in the work. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Now, if you notice, you have the Six of Pentacles in a column right here. And on the other side, the Six of Pentacles. And that is like working together, sharing, sharing everything. Um, no secrets. Okay. And then you have a pinnacle down here and a pinnacle up there. Now, what I'm, what I'm seeing is that you guys are feeling like there's a lot of work to be done here that you're not really sure if you want to invest that seventh pinnacle. In order to invest this seventh pinnacle, that other person's going to have to pick up this other pinnacle down here and invest theirs as well. Okay? Um, I, I'm, I'm getting that there's a feeling that somebody, the person that you are dealing with, is is might be sharing with someone else, might be investing somewhere else, may even have a family that they're trying to protect or even hide from you guys here is what I'm getting with this eight of pentacles energy crowning you right now what you're thinking about. I just flipped that over. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Another Virgo card here. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for my Libras. Seven of Swords. Um, this is an Aquarius card, but this is somebody basically stepping out, leaving a situation, um, and doing, doing, thinking about it. This is what somebody's thinking here. Okay, this could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with, um, feeling like this situation is no longer a good situation to be in, and leaving. I don't necessarily see this as a horrible energy here, to be honest with you. This is somebody that's that's kind of evaluating things here in this situation and saying, you know what, um, things are not working. There's too many secrets. I feel like there's somebody else involved. Maybe this person has a family that... Um, they haven't told me about or a mistress or a mister that they haven't told me about um, and they're hiding it here okay and you're not being you're uncomfortable with that and you're feeling like you need to take action in this situation okay not willing to invest here with this eight of Pentacles energy if this other person is not willing to invest as well so somebody is wanting to like do what's best for them this is this is like what somebody is thinking here okay for the month of June like maybe this is not the one maybe this is not the ideal situation maybe you know our foundation was not a very sturdy one it wasn't built on something substantial from the beginning because there was always something hidden here okay something that I'm not sure of or I don't know of see how does Libra view this situation currently the nine of wands very defensive Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands. Do you see this? This woman is like not only is she blocking other people out, but she's blocking herself in to where she cannot be touched. You know, cannot be phased, cannot be manipulated. Very defensive energy. Very defensive energy. It's like get back. 
You know, you can't fool me. You can't pull anything over my eyes. That's Sagittarian energy. I feel like you guys are wanting to, there, there's something you're wanting to get out of here for a lot of you. Okay. Not willing to invest anymore. Just trying to work on yourself, I feel. What is the influence for my Libras? Ten of Cups, you just want to be happy. You just want to be happy. You want to be fulfilled in every way. You want camaraderie. You want somebody that's going to be all in with you. That's giving just as much as you are. You want emotional fulfillment. And this situation is not emotionally fulfilling. It's draining you is what I'm saying here. Okay. Let's see. Libra's hopes or fears. The moon. Is that you won't see things clearly. That you have a lot of feelings here. You've invested a lot of feelings and emotions in this situation. I feel like you're being worn out right now. Your hope is that you will see things clearly. Okay? You've been going through a lot of emotional ups and downs, I feel, in this situation with this individual. Hmm. What is the overall for my Libras? What's the overall... For my Libras. The Four of Wands. Look at that. You will find your stability. Your happiness. I'm feeling like a lot of conflict right now. Going on within you. Okay. And this is like the card of. Of marriage. And relationships as well. Now. Being that I have these other cards here. I'm feeling like for some of you, this is a situation where you guys, some of you are self-sabotaging, okay? Some of you are overthinking this situation, feeling like there's somebody that's hiding something. And I think it's because of what you've experienced before in the past. I don't feel like there's necessarily um, an unstable relationship here not necessarily for some of you it is but for some of you this is this is some something that is stemming from your past experiences that you're bringing to this connection is what you're actually doing and feeling like okay I need to get out because I feel like this person is hiding something but I'm, I'm feeling like for a lot of you that's not the case I feel like a lot of you are overthinking this situation. I'm just getting that, okay? Now, and for those of you who are overthinking this situation, I feel like my advice would be for you to really look at what it is that you actually know. What is it that you actually know? Have a conversation. Communication is everything. It's everything. Because I do see the potential for you to have a very strong relationship where there's a lot of attraction, there's a lot of love. Okay? I do see that. Very deep feelings between you and someone else here. Okay? For sure. Now, for some of you, there is somebody I feel like that's hiding someone. A situation, a family, something. Okay? And in that case, you do get out of it. You get out of it. And you find your fulfillment on your own. You find your own stability. Okay? This could be a new situation for some of you coming in. Sorry, guys. Rocking that. I'm going to leave this down. You see the four of wands there. These nails. This could be a new situation coming in for some of you. If it's not a new situation, this is all about you gaining your own inner happiness and stability. In your home, with your family, if you have one, if you have children, if you have extended family, okay? Removing yourself from a situation that you feel like is already unstable anyway. Okay, guys? So, two different situations here. Some of you are really overthinking a situation and feeling like somebody's hiding something and they're not. Those insecurities are coming from a past situation or past experiences with people who really were hiding things from you. Okay, kind of bringing that over is spilling over into this connection here. 
All right. So we have Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Scorpio. Um, I feel uh, Leo's here as well. Okay. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.